Hey guys, this is Judy from Judinka Nail Art and today I have this Ejubas review video for you. Ejubas was kind enough and they contacted me if I would like to review their nail vinyls. So they sent me the entire set for review and I will show you today all the designs that are in this package. And at the end of the video, I will be also showing you a few manicures using them. I will also post these pictures on my Instagram account, Judinka Nail Art. And I also have a few discount codes for you that you can use at both www.edubias.com or on Amazon. I will have all the codes and links in the description box below, so please check it out. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And now I will show you what was sent to me. And I would like to say a big thank you to Ajubias for sending me these items for review. So this packaging might be familiar to you already, guys. Uh, if you saw my sampling plate reviews, they all come packaged in this cute little like paper sleeve. And all the vinyls are in this plastic packaging and as you can see you also have the instructions how to use these vinyls so you just open it and pull them out so you are getting 12 different sheets and each sheet has 12 vinyls and as you can see on each vinyl you have two different designs and you have six designs on one side and six designs on the other side Typically, you would use this as an accent nail, plus these designs are quite large. So especially if you have shorter nails, you can definitely get maybe two designs out of one vinyl. They are almost three centimeters long and two and a half centimeters wide. And now I will show you close-ups of all of these design so the first design you are getting are these hearts and this abstract design and this is sheet number es01 on the second sheet that's es02 you are getting this fishnet design and then you are getting more like abstract designs these are really really interesting i don't think i've seen anything like this the next sheet is es03 and these are kind of like star designs with some polka dots. And this is like cute flowers. This is really pretty too. Then we have sheet ES04. And as you can see, this is like zebra design. And then you have the chevron designs. ES05 is more kind of like chevron designs, but like sideways. And this is like the checkerboard. And ES06 is stars. And I think this is like cheetah print. Really pretty as well. ES07 are these arrows and another chevron design. But as you can see in the middle, they are meeting. So they are creating kind of like a diamond design. That's really interesting too. ES09, it's like this shattered glass and then this is like squares with stripes in it. And the previous one was the ES08 and this is ES09. And this one has kind of like fishnet uh, diamond designs. And then you have just the regular striped ones. And I really like this sheet. This is ES10. And you have like larger and smaller polka dots. And on the other side you have these fun flowers. Those will be really cute for spring and summer manicures. ES11. You have more hair designs. This is really interesting as well. It's almost like a four leaf clover in the middle. And then you have some flower designs on the other side. And the last design is ES12. 
12. And as you can see, this is like triangles and polka dot designs. And now just before I show you some manicures, I would like to show you also the size of the Ejubas uh, vinyls. As you can see, I have a sheet from Born Pretty Store and this is a sheet from What's Up Nails. So I will just put side by side for you so that you can see what is the typical size and what is the size of other stores that are selling similar items. So as you can see, these two are pretty much the same size. Uh, I got these from Born Pretty Store. I haven't tried this yet, but it's a very similar concept. And then here are the vinyls from What's Up Nails. So as you can see, they are much larger than the regular ones. So these are 2.25 centimeters wide and about the same size when it comes to the length of these. So they're pretty much the same as when you are buying them from uh, indie makers like What's Up Nails, uh, Twi Twinkle Tea, Up Your Nails and so on. So. And just one more thing that is important to remember is that these are on like this transparent plastic. So just make sure that you peeling them off properly. And I will just follow the instructions now and try to create a manicure using uh, one or two of these designs for you. And to create this manicure, I will be applying it over the nail polish I already have on my nails. This one is from Julep. And I think I will be using this hair design. And I already looked at my nails because they are so short right now. I think I will be able to use one vinyl on two of my nails. So let's see if that works out. And I will be using this nail polish from Eliana's collection and that is red bottoms and the instructions say that I should be using a scraper or scissors to detach the vinyls let me close up for you so you can see these are like attached to the sides of the vin of the like the plastic so what I will do, I will use my scissors and just try to detach that. And I don't want to destroy the design, so I'm sorry if I'm a little clumsy. I will be using my tweezers. Okay. Okay. My bed. This one is still attached to the side. You see, it does say in the instruction that these are very, very fragile so they will tear if they are still attached to so they will tear if they are still attached to the sides so let me see okay all right so it came off easily as you saw and i will place it on my nail but here and you see it's huge so I will see if I can get another nail using this one if not that's okay too I will just use another one just gently push down okay so now the next step should be applying the nail polish just make sure that it's holding well 
everywhere, especially on the sides. So I will try to apply one coat of Eliana's collection nail polish. I will peel it off. Oh wow, these are really pretty. Look at that. I'm really impressed. Great job. So let me see if I can maybe reuse this one for my second manicure. Uh, no, I will be using another one, but look at that. That's really pretty. The second one didn't come out as nice as the first one. But I think I just applied way too much nail polish. So what we can do, we're gonna fix this a little bit. So I will take some acetone and a cleanup brush. And just kind of soak it up. It's not perfect, but this was mostly my error because I applied way too much nail polish. When your design is done, you just apply some top coat. And I will be using this Eliana's collection, fast drying top coat. Okay, so I applied the top coat. I'm very happy with how this design came out. I already applied two coats of Sally Hansen White On nail polish. It's from the Extreme Wear line. And this is the new formula. It's not the old one. I really love the, the old one. And I applied my fast drying top coat from KB Shimmer. So for this many, I decided to actually go with both designs. I will put the chevron design on my pinky and the zebra design on my ring finger. And it's mostly because when you look at the size of my nail, I don't think I will really get much of the design itself. So I think combining it with this chevron design is going to be more fun and that way I can show you both vinyls and how they work. For reference, make sure you completely detach. You see, it came off easily and I think this is going to be a fun chevron design. So I will place it on my nail, just cut. The excess one and I will cut it here as well again I will push it to the side to make sure that I get the entire nail I'm using the other side of my tweezers I like this smurf blue color I will be using Eliana's collection in Everlasting and I will apply a generous amount on the sponge and I dab it on my nail okay, just take your sponge apply the polish Apply it on your nails. So now I will peel it off. Again with a pair of tweezers. Just gently peel off the design. And here we have my chevron. So again, I will just cut off the excess because I don't want it to be in my way. And again, just dab it on my nail. And now I will peel off my vinyl. A 
And look at that. This is beautiful. I really, really like it. So right now I have really short nails. So the designs don't show up as much as I would like it. But you can still tell that this is kind of like a zebra print. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So I will apply some top coat. So guys, here is the final manicure that I created with one of the Ejubas nail vinyls. I have to say I really really like all of the designs. I like the fact that you are getting two different designs on each sheet. You have 12 designs on each of them and you can mix and match them. They are really really easy to use. They stick great onto your nail. Whatever fails you saw in this video were caused by me. Mostly because I don't use nail vinyls very often. You need to know how to properly apply them on the nail and how to apply nail polish over them. As you saw in my first manicure, I applied way too much uh, nail polish. Excuse me for any user errors. I actually have to say that I really, really like these vinyls. They are much easier to use than some of the nail vinyls I have in my collection. You can I... mix and match these. I really think they are worth every single penny you will be paying for them. Do you think these vinyls are great for nail art manicures? Even if you are just a beginner. Yeah. But I prefer stamping. That's what I really like to do. So using these vinyls was a nice experience for me. Let me know guys, what do you think? If you like these vinyls, if you have a design that you would like me to maybe uh, try in my next manicure, I would like to say a big thank you to Ejubas one more time for sending me this for review. And all my thoughts about these vinyls are my honest opinion. I would absolutely recommend them. And now that I know how great these are, if they come out with more in the future, I will be getting definitely some more. I hope you guys like this quick review and nail art tutorial video on the Ejubias nail vinyls. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, that will help me a lot. And again, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. You can find the subscribe button underneath the video. And I would like to say thank you so much for being here today. And I will be back with more soon. Bye bye.